In this video, we're going to talk about the integrated data grid view and the way it lets you interact with data and perform uh, calculations that the system doesn't have built into it automatically. If I go ahead and say on this poll that I want to add a note, and we've seen notes before in a previous video, so I have the ability to type uh, you know, some sort of ad hoc note about the structure up here. Down here I have my data grid portion of the note and it looks like a little spreadsheet and in fact it is a little spreadsheet. And I can put in things I might want to see, you know, text. I could put in numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can put in calculations so I can say this is a A2 times A3. Um, but I can also put in values that I actually get out of my data and, I get it, and it gets it dynamically. So. Um, let's just say I want to put my poll number in here because I'm going to print it out later. And my poll number, I just say go to item attribute poll poll number. Now, I haven't actually set the poll number yet in my data, so I'm going to go ahead and save this just by way of demonstrating that this is in fact dynamic. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to set my poll number. My poll number is RKM123, one, one, let's say. And now you notice when I pull the note back up, there it's been set to RKM123. Now, the other thing I can do is I can say, um, you know, and if this was a numeric value, I could actually perform calculations on that. In fact, let's just demonstrate that. Um, I'll go get the, let's say, um, I'm, I'll go get the poll's length, and I'll go get the setting depth. And so if I want to know height above the ground line, I just say that this is equal to B2 minus B3. And there I have my poles length in meters above the ground line. So I can do some pretty interesting stuff. And of course, if I save that value off, if I save this note off, and then I, in my catalog, and I put it on a different pole, it goes and dynamically get those ex exact same values and gives me that, that result for that pole. I can also interact with the um, digital measurement tool. So if I have a value that I want to get, if let's, let's just say I want to know what's the clearance between my bottom power and my top com. So I put in a label and I do that by putting it between two chevrons. And I say uh, top or bottom power. And I'm just going to give it dummy values for the time being, 0 and 0. And I'm going to say this is equal to, and this is going to be C5 minus C6, all right, which s still is currently 0. But, all right, now I'm going to close that. And I'm going to go over to my measurement window, and I'm going to go pick. And I promptly picked a pole that doesn't have any comms on it, but that's neither. <laughs> we'll just pretend. Let's go ahead and you'll notice that I can pick my service line here. So you, here's the labels that I typed in in the spreadsheet because I have the spreadsheet selected on the left here. I'm going to select top com and then let's just pretend there was a power here or I mean a com here. This is my top com and as a convenience I have a little menu item now that says show me the note back again and it went in and figured out I didn't actually do it. I select top com twice, didn't I? This is bottom power. And it went in and figured, uh, figured out that there is in fact uh, two meters between the bottom power and the top com. So if I wanted to do some rudimentary clearance analysis or something, or uh, just anything that I didn't have the ability to do built into the system, by making one of these ad hoc notes and filling in the correct labels and going and getting the values off of the poll, I could make a little spreadsheet and that would do any calculation that I wanted. I can also save this off and put it in my user catalog and then bring it back in and put it on any other poll where I'm interested in performing the exact same operation. And what I've made is a, a little tool, an ad hoc tool for doing any kind of operation that I might want to do. So that's ad hoc data grid view.